Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So this is gonna be my Flash episode 12 video. Just careful for spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. There's so much happening. Tar Pit was the big character. There's a bunch of Zoom stuff that I have to talk about, a bunch of New 52 comics that I have to explain. So here we go. There's also a new round of the Reverse Flash Ring giveaway that starts now. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Any comment will do. You don't have to say you're entering the giveaway. So here we go, Tar Pit. This is really his episode but it subtly turned into a Joe West episode. There, there are really so many big WTFs. I'm gonna go ahead and do a top 10. I'll explain everything as we go along. So number 10, meet Tar Pit. He's a character from the comics brought in by Jeff Johns, and he even tried to join the Suicide Squad during Blackest Night. So they changed a few things about his origin story from the comics. He was kind of a dirtbag, but his ability was astral projection. He was able to animate inanimate objects with his spirit. It got stuck in a vat of tar. On the TV show, they just used the traditional route of using the particle accelerator explosion, but it works the same way. And by the end of the episode, he actually looks like traditional comic book tar pit with one of my favorite bait related lines from the episode. Number nine WTF, Wally versus his family. Wally's kind of keeping them at arm's length. He keeps talking about how he is obsessed with speed, with racing. Iris is trying to help him, but she sees an opportunity to work on a case, so she uses one of his races. She is trying to help Wally, but she's also trying to get a good story out of it too. The reason she's really pissed at Joe, like on the other side of this, is because he's acting more like Wally's friend. Joe is just happy that Wally wants to be in their lives. It really takes the accident to crystallize their relationship, but that's just gonna continue to develop, Wally getting closer with Iris and Joe in the next couple of episodes. Number eight WTF. Harrison Wells makes a Speed Force battery to siphon Barry's power. Here's where things get really exciting. So if you didn't read the New 52 run, Harrison Wells is doing a lot of things like Darwin Elias. He's a scientist that Barry starts working with. He tries to develop all these awesome new things to help humanity, just like Harrison Wells did on Earth 2. He's kind of like the inventor, like he invented the MetaHuman watch, but his relationship turns kind of sour. He winds up creating a giant speed force battery to harness the Flash's power and use it as a clean source of energy, but he's really shady about it. So that's basically what Harrison Wells did in this episode. He used the Flash's power in a really shady way. Obviously it's part of the Zoom plot, so it's a little bit different, but it seems like Earth 2 Harrison Wells has a lot of that Darwin Elias character in him. Now obviously they're not doing an exact storyline from the comics. Don't think of it that way. Just think of the TV show as borrowing character traits. Number seven, WTF, Barry versus Tar Pit round one. With the help of Cisco's MetaHuman Tinder, where can I sign up for that? That would be awesome. Maybe we can find Golden Glider's profile. You can kind of see where they're going. They use their genius level Cisco nitrous bomb and fourth grade science to defeat Tar Pit. Number six, WTF, Barry works with Harrison Wells. Wow, you know, the last Harrison Wells, he was kind of like a dad to me, even though he was a psychopath. I love the way that one, he's able to speed read the hell out of that book, and two, he just casually references Harrison Wells, the Eobar Dawn Harrison Wells, like it's no big deal. Really, this is all to create tension with Earth 2 Harrison Wells, who's trying to keep Team Flash at arm's length so he doesn't get attached because he's trying to save his daughter, and he has to essentially neutralize the Flash for Zoom, even though he gets there eventually. I was actually really surprised that they had to reveal this quickly. Number five, WTF. Barry's feeling sick, feeling slow. Caitlin says he's 2% slower to be precise. And as they talk, as Barry talks about his fears of not being able to save everyone, Harrison Wells, you see the camera just slowly zoom in on him as he's like, bam, finally, I did it. I'm the one that did it. Joe, who's on a tear in this episode, knocks him the F out. But you have to remember, this is after what happened to Iris. So number four, WTF. Iris takes glass to the shoulder. It looked like it was really close to her heart, but in the scene at the hospital, Joe's like, it only got your shoulder, so she's fine. Not nearly as bad as what happened to Felicity on Arrow, but a very similar device, an injury crystallizing relationships in the group. But it, but it acts as like this catalyst for Wally to get closer to his family. Joe dads the F up, tells Wally, look, I'm not mad at you, but this is what families do. We worry about each other. We think of each other first before we think of ourselves. Let's see if I can use a few puns here. Shifting into reverse, number three WTF. Wally races and almost gets taken out by Tar Pit. Pretty good special effects, but this is where we're getting into comic book Tar Pit territory. He has his first encounter with the Flash, which is actually a big deal because he's obsessed with speed. There was an interview with the actor. People asked him, what do you think that Wally thinks of the Flash? And he's like, he probably thinks the Flash is really badass. 
I don't think Joe or Iris is going to tell Wally that Barry is the Flash anytime soon, but that is going to be a thing. Wally developing a relationship with the Flash and then with Barry separately from that. Loves the Flash, thinks he's totally badass, not so hot on Barry because Barry represents the life that he could have had, the stuff that he missed with Joe and Iris. Number two WTF, Harrison Wells gives Zoom Barry Speed Force. And like a true addict, his hand shakes as he injects himself at courses all through his veins. Did it not just look like a drug addict getting a fix? Like he slowly calms down a little bit, but he's like, it's not enough. I gotta have more, gotta have more. Why does he need more? And why does he look like an addict? It all ties in with my number one WTF. Wally West explains to Iris why he races. He is trying to get this feeling back that he used to have the last time that he was really, really happy and safe. Now, what does that sound like? Does that not sound exactly like Daniel West in the New 52? For those that haven't read the comic, this is a big New 52 explainer. It's all about the reverse flash of the New 52, which is why after this episode, I'm reordering my list of people that I think Zoom is. Wally just shot straight to the top because it sounds like Zoom might be an Earth 2 version of Wally West with a Daniel West arc from the comics. If you never read the New 52, a lot of people really didn't like it because it rewrote continuity in this really big way. There was no Daniel West before the New 52. Iris West's family is like this really awful, broken family. It's very, very different from the classic comics. But essentially, Daniel West is Iris's little brother. He grows up as this maladjusted teen. He tries to run away from home. His father's abusive. But he remembers this time when he was, I think, eight or nine years old. He tries to get back there after he gets into an accident that gives him the speed force. But unlike Barry, who's had this really positive life and becomes the Flash, turns into a hero, Daniel has had a very hard life, been to prison, been in all kinds of terrible situations, and is just completely messed up in the head. Then he gets into an accident with the speed force, but the way he uses the speed force is very different from the Flash. When Daniel West is the Flash, he finds that he has the ability to reverse time and the more speed force that he absorbs, the further back in time he can travel. But on, on the flip side of that, Barry also moves time forward with the speed force. Remember, New 52, very, very different explanation for how the speed force works than the classic comics. So Daniel West goes around trying to kill other speedsters, absorb their speed force so he becomes more powerful and can go back in time to when he was a child, murder his father so that it will fix his life. He thinks it'll fix his life if he kills his father but it gets even more interesting. So on the TV show, we know that Zoom knows all about Barry's life. How did he know that Linda Park was his girlfriend? How did he know to send doppelganger Dr. Light? Well, in the comics, Daniel West has this weird psychic connection to other people with the speed force. He can sense them. That helps him track them down so that he can take their speed force. Doesn't that sound kind of like what Zoom is doing? Like somehow he just knows things about Barry without ever having met him. And I know a lot of you are like, well, if Wally West is Zoom, then how come he's shorter? Isn't Zoom supposed to be taller? Well, keep this in mind. As Daniel West absorbs more speed force, he grows, like he starts to hulk out. He gets really huge. So Zoom looks like he's been twisted by the speed force, turned into a monster, like Daniel West gets turned into a monster when he takes in enough speed force. So here is my big question for you guys. Let me know in the comments. If you know the New 52 storyline of the Reverse Flash and Daniel West, do you think that the TV show is doing a version of that with the Wally West character? If Daniel West is trying to get back to that moment that he was happy, the last moment he was happy, and that is also what Wally West literally just said that he is doing in this episode. I race because I'm trying to get back to this moment. Now I'll say there's still a couple other possibilities, but I just, I feel like based on what happened in this episode, there's more compelling evidence for Wally West on Earth 2 with a Daniel West arc from the New 52 comics. But I think I mentioned most of the Easter eggs already, the comic book characters, the storylines that they're doing, the character arcs they've taken, but the one really cool one is the bait line that Joe West has. I'm using you as bait. You like to fish with bait? I do too. All the way back to Barry's dad, who was fishing in his time away from Central City. So there's this running theme of fish and bait going across the entire Flash season, as well as Legends of Tomorrow. Captain Cold had this line in a Legends of Tomorrow episode where he's like, so you're saying we have to fish or cut bait. That means for the rest of the season, you guys really need to look out for references to bait or fishing. Just a really fun in-joke that the show has. I'm curious to see if it becomes more meaningful, like if they tie it to the central arc of the series in this big Zoom plot. 
Oh, and one more. If you look at the colors of Wally's ride here, it's totally kid flash colors. The, the initial Wally West yellow flash costume. I know Bart Allen wore a yellow costume too, but originally in the comics, when Wally first became kid flash, he wore a costume that looked exactly like Barry's. It was red. Then eventually they gave him a yellow costume. So this is just a really awesome hat tip to that. But the really big news is this weekend is the Super Bowl. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. It's just a time when a bunch of really big trailers get dropped. It's mostly going to be Marvel and X-Men Universe stuff like Deadpool, X-Men Apocalypse, Captain America Civil War. There might be some other stuff, but Sunday will be a huge day for trailers. So I'll be posting a ton of videos then. While you guys wait for all that stuff to post, you can click here for all my Flash Arrow Legends of Tomorrow videos that you guys need to catch up on. And you can click here for my Star Wars The Force Awakens Lego video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.